Welcome back. In the mid-20th century, the electric guitar caught on in a really big way. A quarter century later, it was the synthesizer. Well, now, after another quarter of century, Jim Swift tells us about an Austin man who thinks he has his thumb on the next big musical invention. First of all, my wife and daughter were taking piano lessons and complaining bitterly that it was too complicated, that it made them feel stupid, and they wanted to stop the pain. So after six months, they quit. And if my wife and daughter, who are perfectly reasonable people, could not understand music, it was because music was too hard. It wasn't their fault. It was music's fault. Here you can see the keyboard. Jim Blamondon yep. is a former Microsoft left. executive Show on a mission. On right. Now, there's a pattern in those notes. Plamondon tells anyone who will listen there is a better way and he's already won a convert. So if you were going to play for example Louie Louie in the key of C on the piano it's now if I want to change to a different key like B it's different shapes. On the thumber it's the same shape no matter where you start. start somewhere else over here that kind of simplicity Lamondon argues will enable his new instrument to revolutionize music education we can probably double or triple the size of the music products industry and lesson industry which combined are about 30 billion dollars a year if we can capture that growth here in Austin that makes us one of the biggest businesses or industries in Austin. Do you see the same potential that he sees? Oh, I, you know, I, I can't speak to the to the global domination potential of it, but <laughs> I, I, I sure know it's a lot of fun to play and, and, uh, and, and, and sure is uh, a lot easier. If I'd started learning on this, it would have been a lot easier to learn to play music than it was. Well, that's all well and good. But the quick question arises, why is this thing called a thummer? Here's the answer. Manipulation of the notes with the thumb, combined with a portable synthesizer still in development, could allow musicians to wiggle like never before. And the wigglings would be meaningful. You'd do a pitch bend, a vibrato, here's a vibrato, and here's doing doo-wop, doo-wop, and so on, so that the motion has me musical meaning. How far away are we from that, that in the second stage? About a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Using the thumb to hitch a ride what may turn out to be the wave of the future. Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News. And you can find more information about the Thummer on KXAN.